What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's What's for Dinner video. I'm Jennifer if you're new here and I'm going to share with you guys four meals that we had to eat this past week that we really enjoyed. We really dig simple, quick, and minimal ingredient recipes in this house. So if that is something that you also enjoy, make sure you subscribe and hit all notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Also, I will leave recipe links and or recipes in my description box below if you decide there's something you see here that you also wanna make. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I surely do appreciate you. We're gonna get on into this video now, guys. Alrighty, to start this off, I have two pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast that have cooked in my Instant Pot and then shredded. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in two eggs and then we're gonna add in one cup of breadcrumbs. You can use regular breadcrumbs or you can use Italian. I believe that I used Italian this night, so whatever works best for you. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Up next is gonna be four cloves of garlic. That looks so good, I love garlic. Next is gonna be one cup of Parmesan. And then I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate these ingredients by hand. I just feel like they get mixed up better that way. And I do wanna mention that the recipe that I have linked below for this particular meal here it is a meatloaf recipe, but I have turned it into a meatball recipe. So <laughs> all the ingredients are the same. You're just gonna form the meat into little balls. Also, you can use ground chicken if you so choose to. I just had boneless skinless chicken breast, so I'm using what I had. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and make little meatballs out of this. I wanted them to be the same size, so I used a heaping tablespoon for each. All right, so next here, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Newman's Own Marinara Sauce on the top of each of my meatballs. So I will use the rest of that marinara later to coat the top of my spaghetti. You will see in just a few minutes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and shred some mozzarella on top of each of these meatballs. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these into a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes because my chicken is already cooked. <laughs> Y'all, the house smelled amazing i absolutely love this recipe i serve this with spaghetti noodles corn steamed broccoli and some good old breadsticks i can't begin to tell you how yummy this meal was this is definitely on our rotation around here Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and start this out with one pound of medium shells here. I'm gonna boil them according to the box and then I will drain them and sit them aside. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and spray down my skillet with some nonstick spray and I'm gonna go ahead and brown up one pound of ground beef, AKA hamburger meat. And I like to season my meat, even if the recipe doesn't call for it. So here I'm gonna go ahead and add in some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper to my liking. And I just wanna mention that I pulled this recipe off of Pinterest. Good old Pinterest helped me out here. So I will link this recipe down below in my description box. Definitely recommend it, nice and easy. All right, next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and add this cooked ground beef to our drained and cooked shells. Up next is gonna be two cans of just regular old Campbell's tomato soup. Next, I'm adding in a half a cup of water, one cup of shredded mozzarella, and two cups of shredded cheddar. 
All right, now I'm gonna get down in here and get these ingredients incorporated well. All right, don't mind me here. I'm just trying to get a youngin out from underneath my feet. Any other mamas relate? <laughs> they just wanna hang out with you when you're cooking for some reason. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn this out into a grease nine by 13 here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up with some tin foil. All right, I'm gonna pop this into my 375 degree oven for 20 minutes. Then after the timer goes off, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tin foil and cook it for another 10 minutes. But for the last few minutes, I popped my broiler on oh, uh, for a nice suntan on my cheese. Here's the finished dish. This was so simple and delicious and filling. I served this with some cooked cabbage and more of those delicious breadsticks. All right, you guys, so here I'm starting out with a one chicken breast that I have already cooked up and shredded. You can also use rotisserie chicken if you prefer that. I'm adding in a half a block of cream cheese, one fourth of a cup of ranch dressing. We really like this brand. I think it's Kins. Is it Kins? It is Kins. <laughs> and then one fourth of a cup of Frank's Buffalo Wing Sauce. So basically I'm just taking the recipe that is online and cutting it in half because Quite frankly, I don't need a big old whole recipe of this. So <laughs> now I'm just gonna go ahead and mix all this together to get the cream cheese to start melting. All right, up next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my cheddar cheese. Add however much you like. I just kept going until my heart said that that was enough. All right, and once we've got everything mixed together well and melted nicely, we are going to be ready to throw our sandwiches together. All right, and feel free to get fancy with this if you like. I'm just using plain white sandwich bread here, and I'm only making three of the buffalo chicken grilled cheese sandwiches because my boys don't particularly care for hot stuff, so I'm gonna make them just a regular old grilled cheese. On our sandwiches, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Munster cheese, and then on the boys, I'm gonna just use regular cheddar. So next I'm gonna go ahead and brush this melted butter on. I find that my sandwiches cook more evenly when the butter is already melted and brushed onto the bread. Y'all, this poor old skillet. I use this thing every single day. I have a nice looking like copper colored one, but it cooks horribly, it burns stuff. So anyway, this old trusty one here just works perfectly every time. All right, so I'm gonna put these on here. We're gonna allow them to cook on one side and then we'll go ahead and brush some butter on the other side and then we'll flip them when it's time. This was such a like quick meal. We weren't really all this all that hungry this night, so I didn't serve anything as a side with this or extra. I mean, you definitely can. You can fancy it up all you want. But next time, I think that I will probably add one more slice of cheese to the buffalo chicken grilled cheese sandwiches just because I feel like it could have been a little more cheesier. That was cheesy, wasn't it? Ha ha ha. But anyway, you guys, y'all have got to try this. It was so good.
might I introduce to you my favorite meal of this week. For this one, you're going to need some chips. I'm going to recommend these Tostino's Cantina style chips. I feel like they definitely were perfect for this recipe. I browned one pound of hamburger meat, seasoned it with some taco seasoning, and added a can of black beans that I drained and rinsed. For toppings, I have diced tomato, black olives, jalapeno, all the cheeses. I think I have mozzarella and cheddar here. And then, of course, some avocado that I'm going to slice up. All right, so the key to making sure you get goodies on every bite is to layer. So here I'm going to lay these chips out as flat as I can on this sheet pan. And then next I'm going to go ahead and start building my layers. The first thing on top of the chips is going to be the meat and the beans. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and throw on a good layer of cheese, both of them actually. And as far as the extra toppings, you'll see I'm just adding that to one side because I am the only one who cares for that type of thing here. Everybody else is just plain old meat and beans. All right, and then now I'm just going to go ahead and repeat everything. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in my 400 degree oven for about eight minutes. And then that dinner bell be ringing, y'all. This would be perfect for the Super Bowl coming up in a few weeks, might I add. Alrighty, I added some sour cream as well as some taco sauce on top of mine. Lord, the indigestion, but it was so worth it, you guys. Alrighty, my friends, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me a great big old thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you decide to make any of these meals. And until next time, keep them fed.